two of the most important concepts to understand in any programming language uh, are variables and functions. You can think of variables like nouns. They refer to data um, and they give us a way to assign a name to refer to that data and use it later on. Functions are a lot like verbs. Um, they are, they're words that um, perform some action, they do something. Um, and uh, in rebel, variables and functions are both assigned what we call words in rebel. Words can represent actions or they can represent data. Um, and in rebel, just like in any other language, um, functions are expected to have a certain syntax. The right function, for example, which writes some data to a, uh, to a device, has a syntax which expects um, the location to which you're going to write um, the data and then the data. If you do that backwards, um, in this case, for example, if you put the uh, data first and the device second, Rebel will pop up an error. I'm going to copy and paste that into Rebel. And you'll see if we try and do it that way, it gives us a little error and it says that write expected that uh, device first, which we didn't do. We gave it some data first. So as you're learning Rebel, one of the big parts of learning the language is going to be understanding the built-in functions and understanding the, the syntax, knowing the syntax that they um, should be written in. And uh, as far as syntax go, there's some more examples here um, of Rebel um, graphic user interface layout. And again, you'll see in all these examples, there's a view layout um, um, set of functions. And afterwards, in brackets, you'll always see the things that you want in that GUI contained in brackets. Here, a button is put on the uh, uh, GUI. In this one, a field, a text entry field, is put on the GUI. That allows you to enter some text. Um, and there are a variety of other little um, widgets that are described. This enters some text onto a um, GUI. This is a list of items that can be selected. Um, you put that text list in. In this case, there are no items listed, but it will have a number of selections that we can choose from. And you can put all of those things together, just include them in brackets, and you can put them on separate lines. There are no ending line characters, anything of that sort. You can put an empty space wherever you want, tabs. Typically, you'll see in Rebel that um, the data contained uh, in those brackets. It's called a block. We'll cover that in detail later. Um, but the da data that's included in the block is very often um, indented so that uh, you can separate and see visually what's included in that block. In this case, you take all of these items, the button, the field, the text, the text list item, and a checkbox, and put them all into a GUI, and you get a little program that like this. It's got a button, a text field, some text, a text list, and a checkbox. Really simple to make GUIs in Rebel. It's also really simple to add more descriptive elements to the items in your GUIs. Um, in this case, there are some colors. Um, uh, there are some, again, some items added to, for example, the text list. Um, this is a sizer for the size of the text list. And then some items that are added to that text list. Copy it, paste it into Rebel, you see. Now I've got a GUI that has uh, the layout a little bit more like you like. The button's red, the text is purple. The um, text list now has some items in it. And you just put those on the same line as the items, uh, those descriptors on the same line as the items that are in the GUI. One of the most important things you can do with GUIs is have them perform some actions. And again, those are just as easy to do um, as the other 
things in a GUI. If you want, for example, the button to um, do something, again, you put in brackets after the uh, GUI item what you want it to do. In this case, the button is going to alert us, just like we've seen before, with some text. Um, this little button will have this text on it, this descriptor text, and then again we'll alert us with an action when we click on it. Here are some uh, more of these items again with some descriptive modifiers. Red button is going to alert us. Um, a text field of 400 character or 400 um, pixels. Um, it's going to contain this text, and when we click on that field, it will alert us with the value that's contained in the field. Um, this text list uh, contains it's the size and it contains these items, and again, when we click on it, it will alert us with the value that's selected in the list. Uh, when we click on this um, checkbox, it will alert us that we've clicked on this, and when we click the button quit, it will actually quit the rebel interpreter. Copy that into the rebel interpreter. And you'll see just how easy it is to get your GUIs to actually do something. And the code in those brackets can be anything, can be anything that we've learned. Um, click me, click the red button, the text the stuff in here and press return. Shows us what we typed. If I change that, again, it'll show us what we typed. I select a line, it shows us this line that's been selected. Now we've got a program that's actually doing something, and it's just as easy to change what those items do. If we want a button that uh, downloads a picture, for example, we can use the, um, the code that we saw earlier to download a picture. If we want to do anything else that, that we can do in Rebel, we can make the GUI do things very easily. Um, if you want to capture right and left clicks on a button, very simple. Um, the first um, uh, little block, including the brackets, <coughs> will show us what, or will do something when we left click it. The second block will do something when we right click it. Paste that onto Rebel. Take the button click on it, it says we've left clicked, we'll right click on it now, it says we've right clicked. Really easy to do that, just like everything else in Rebel. It's very simple to, to accomplish most things that you'd want to do. Um, there are a variety of other items that you can put in into uh, a GUI layout. It's just a few to give you an idea. Text formatting and other items that are possible. buttons, menu button, rotating buttons, um, and a whole variety of how to um, do different sort of text formatting in a rebel GUI. It's all very simple. Again, that entire block is, in, is enclosed in a single beginning and ending bracket, and it's been indented so that we can see where that starts and ends each item has, or some of the items have descriptors that are, that are changed to make it look the way we want.